Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Richard. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay where I buy things and flip them online for a profit. Typically, I go to garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, estate auctions, and occasionally retail arbitrage. In this video, I'm gonna go over a high bid haul that I picked up this last summer. It was huge. I'm into the whole thing for $611. I am tracking that haul. 46 lots, high bid. Total buy-in was $611. And currently, we are at $384 over our initial buy-in cost. So $384 profit off of this high bid haul. And I'm still going through stuff and figuring out what I have to get listed. This is video number three of me going through some of this stuff. So I've actually went down and grabbed two bags. I'm gonna go through those two bags. First bag is lot 66. Lot 66, four dolls and doll parts. I only paid $2 for this particular lot. So let's dig in and see what we got. There's the lot tag. I haven't even, I can't even remember what's even in this stuff. So this is going to be a surprise for me as it will be for you. Okay, first thing, a fiber fill, brand new bag. Not sure what value this has, but next thing is some Obviously, doll parts. Not sure if they're vintage or not. So we got the head, the legs, and the arms. Box. 27 inch doll body. Contains one cloth body, neck fastener, 27 inch doll body. Contains all that. Okay, looks like a receipt for some of this stuff. Throw that over here. Another bag of this fiber fill. Some type of tool. Looks like we've got two outfits. And a crafts magazine. Not sure much value on that. Okay, obviously doll parts. This is porcelain. It's like part of an angel. It is heavy. Looks like it has tear to go on top. I think that's what you call that. Another doll. Porcelain. Not seeing any tag on it. It's kind of dirty. Looks like a fast net, but it's broken. Got a 
washcloth, so no value in this. We'll just throw this away. A baby that baby was probably in that bassinet. Okay, we've got a Maggie collection, limited edition collector's porcelain doll. Looks like it originally had a price of $1.99. There's a barcode, maybe we can scan it, see if there's any value in this. This appears to be a porcelain baby. Another porcelain doll. Not sure if the flag goes with it. Not seeing any tag on it. So I'm wondering if the person I got all these from actually built a lot of these things. I don't know. Okay, that's it for this pack. So on that haul, I'm only into it for $2. Moving on to the next one. What, $4.90? $4.90? New shirts, large socks, pants. I'm into this lot for only $2 as well. So let me get the tag off. Okay, there's tag. Turn the bag open. All right, let's start reaching in. Okay, first thing. Men's Haban Quality and Comfort. Brand new in the bag. Next thing, imported from Australia by, I can't pronounce that name. White thermal top, it looks to be a female's white thermal top. Again, can't tell if it's vintage, but this tag looks pretty old. Next thing, cabin crank. <laughs> <laughs> Cabin Creek DuPont Teflon Fabric Protector. It's a shirt size medium, aqua plaid, brand new in the package. Okay, some loose stuff here. Okay. Does have tags. Moon Dance. So it looks to be, I guess, a, a woman's pajama top. So maybe there's pajama bottoms in there for this match. Okay, looks like some new socks that are open. Hanes do pretty well on vintage Hanes socks, but unfortunately these are open. These don't, these aren't vintage. These just go back to 2013. So, plus two is open. And there, well, I can clean those up. They are long socks over the calf tube and there is two and a half pairs all 
Maybe the other one's in there. Okay, something loose again. Okay. Here we go. This looks like it goes to this. So again, these are, looks like the bottoms. Reach in. Okay, more open socks, unfortunately. White Stag Elite Above. They are a cotton natural blend, made in USA. I don't see a date. But again, those are open as well. Okay. On top here, okay, another shirt. W3 or WB Western wear. Brand new, looks like it's got the pearl snaps. Is size large. Can't tell if it's long sleeve or short sleeve. Okay. Looks like another one of the thermals. Maybe these are the bottoms. Thermal pants. So maybe we'll lock these two together. These almost look like thermal underwear. Sportsman Guide Comfort Skins, made in USA. Kate made a mistake, forgot to check the battery, had to replace it. So these are black pants. They almost look like sweatpants or women's pants. It's hard to tell. More open socks. Don't see a date on these. These are Hanes over the cap two. So just like the other ones, So we've got two pair here, three pair here, and a half. Okay, run low. There's the other sock, and it is pretty dirty. Can't sell that as new. find another one we'll just set this one aside okay looks like another pair of these thermal bottoms two of those okay and I think that is it for this bag and we have another one of these thermal bottoms. So hopefully there's some value in these. Hopefully there's some value in these. See how there's multi quantity of them. So again, all of this, I'm only into this for $2. So I think we can easily make our money back off of this lot. Not much here, but We'll see what we can do. So those are two of the lots that I opened up this week. Next week, I'll be opening up another two and see what's in those. So if you found the video interesting, give me a thumbs up, helps the channel. Also, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing down below and hitting the bell notification. You'll be notified the next time I do a video. Until next time, keep picking. So this is a third
So if you found it, <coughs> I'm gonna go through those. I'm gonna go through those two.